There are now less than few days remaining to the earliest rumor date for the Galaxy S24 Ultra's release. Samsung next anticipated flagship phone is likely coming in January to wage war on the titanium iPhone 15 Pro Max. Aside from the potentially earlier announcement and release date, we seem to already know a lot about the upcoming device thanks to the wide barriers of leaks and rumors flying around. One thing is for sure, the Galaxy S24 Ultra will be a major step in the Galaxy S series evolution going forward. The majority of rumors regarding the Galaxy S24 Ultra design claim that the Samsung might ditch armor aluminium and instead utilize titanium for the frame of the phone. This could make the flagship more rigid and corrosion resistant as well as boost its premiumness. The iPhone 15 Pro Max recently also substituted stainless steel for titanium, so it seems that the latter is quickly becoming the hot new commodity for flagships in 2023. This purported change in design would have saved the Galaxy S24 Ultra 1 gram of weight in comparison with the Galaxy S23 Ultra's 233 gram versus 234 gram. This is peculiar as titanium normally much denser than aluminium so it's quite incriminating that Samsung has successfully shaved off some weight. Below, you see our renders of the Galaxy S24 series, the Galaxy S24 Ultra at all. Yes, it is clear as a day that we shouldn't expect a radically different S24 Ultra. The frame and the display are flatter than the last year's Galaxy S23 Ultra, making for one very iPhone 12, 13 or 14 looking Galaxy S24 Ultra. So expect a super premium candy bar phone with Gorilla Glass Victus 2 front in and back with an S Pen on deck and a mostly flat design we don't anticipate any changes in the overall size of the phone as the 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display is unlikely to grow in size or shrink to a smaller footprint. In 2023, the news broke that Samsung has had hunted for the chief design officer of Mercedes-Benz China, Hubert H. Lee, who will be head of mobile experience at Samsung and could theoretically introduce design changes to the flagship. However, we don't expect a totally revamped design as it feels like Samsung has definitely found its group as far as its most advanced flagship looks and look feel like. As already mentioned, the Galaxy S24 Ultra will most likely come with a 6.8-inch dynamic AMOLED display similar to its predecessors. What's more, the Galaxy S23 Ultra and Galaxy S22 Ultra used the same general display panel, so we kind of expect an upgrade with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Recent rumors suggest that Samsung might utilize a next-gen M13 OLED display panel, a thinner and more efficient panel in comparison with the M12 chip that is used on the Galaxy S23 series, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 or Z Flip 5 as well as the upcoming iPhone 15 series. Most importantly, this panel would allow the Galaxy S24 Ultra to boost the record 2500 nit peak brightness. Similar to the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Pixel 8 Pro, the Galaxy S24 Ultra will also have an extremely high eye scoring brightness on par the most flagship phones in late 2023. Aside from that, one could assume that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will be outfitted with a 3080 by 1440 pixel panel with a rather decent 500 ppi sharpness, where the glass victus 2 and the class leading contrast, vibrancy, and overall color redemption that Samsung's flagship phone displays are usually known for. Long story short, the display will more likely than not be excellent. One recent rumor calls for a display refresh rate upgrade. It seems that the Galaxy S24 Ultra might score an even smoother 144Hz display, unlike its predecessors 120Hz one. While this might sound like a big improvement, you might not be able to detect a very big difference. While the difference in smoothness between 60Hz and 120Hz can be easily detected, this isn't necessarily true for the minor jump from 120 to 144Hz as any gamer might tell us. Thus, you might have a hard time picking out which one's which. 
Although Samsung has phones with an under display selfie camera, we don't expect to see that one on the Galaxy S24 Ultra as the image quality simply isn't comparable to regular selfie cameras just yet. Thus, we expect a punch hole to grace the front of the Galaxy S24 Ultra, facilitating a front-facing camera. Another important element that will be attributed with the display is the under-display ultrasonic fingerprint scanner, which has been a staple of Samsung flagships for years and is now finally super fast and accurate. The latest rumors call for the use of the same 5000mAh battery that has made the rounds on most flagship galaxies for the past few generations a 5000mAh unit. Despite the earlier rumors about a possible stacked battery cell tech, which would have reportedly allowed Samsung to further improve battery density without increasing the cell size, Korean outlet the ELEC expected a healthy 10% increase in battery capacity. This essentially means that the Galaxy S24 Ultra could have boosted a 5500 mAh battery without being much larger than the Galaxy S23 Ultra, but alas, it seems we are stuck in with a 5000 mAh unit once again. Samsung has been working on solid-state batteries with improved energy efficiency for a decade now, but nothing feasible has seemingly came out of this undertaking. What about graphene, the wondrous material that's touted as the end game for batteries? We have been hearing wondrous claims about those as well, but we wouldn't bet on the Galaxy S24 Ultra rocking one with of this either. Despite our hopes for faster charging, rumors point out that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will likely still get 45 watt of fast wire charging, which should be enough to fully juice up the phone's 5000 mAh battery in an hour and change. Wireless charging as well as reverse wireless charging will also be on deck. We expect that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will come with One UI 6 based on Android 14. Among the new features that One UI 6 brings are a revamped quick settings panel that boosts larger, more expressive icons and a fresh layout, camera app enhancements, a redesigned Samsung Health app, a new camera with get performance improvements, and of course new emoji are just some of the highlights of the upcoming software for Galaxy device. The upcoming Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which will be the second Gen 4 nanometer chipset, is widely rumored to be exclusive chipset for of choice on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 will likely also power the Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus in the USA, while elsewhere around the globe, the two more affordable phones will use the Exynos 2400 chipset. If another report proves to be accurate, the Exynos 2400 might compete with Qualcomm's next Snapdragon chip. The Exynos 2400 might use printed circuit board free fan out wafer label packaging. The Exynos 2400 might then the display enhanced performance with more energy efficiency. According to Solid report, Samsung Foundry would produce the chip using its 4 nanometer LPP production node. Yes, it's not 3 nanometer, but probably very good. The jury is still out about the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3's configuration, with some reports claiming that a new layout could be adapted, one consisting of a single prime core, 5 performance core, and two efficiency ones, which might improve performance in comparison with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Other reports claim that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will have a common core layout with a single prime for performance and three efficiency cores. On the topic of RAM and storage, rumors are calling for up to 16GB of RAM on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The starting 256GB version of the phone will likely arrive with 8GB of memory, while the 512GB and 1TB version might have come with at least 12GB of RAM for all the multitasking needs one might have. Now the most important part, should I wait for the Galaxy S24 Ultra? You should wait for the Galaxy S24 Ultra if you have kept yourself from upgrading the Galaxy S22 Ultra or Galaxy S23 Ultra and are rocking on an aging Galaxy flagship. Think Galaxy Note 9, Galaxy Note 10, Galaxy S10 Plus and Galaxy S20 Ultra. Upgrading to the Galaxy S24 Ultra from any of those will almost certainly give you insane value and a vast improvement of your overall phone experience.
You should not wait for the Galaxy S24 Ultra if you have just scored a flagship in the last two years and have no qualms about it. As flagship smartphones have peaked long ago and the overall new tech adoption has somewhat slowed down, upgrading every two years is no longer necessary. Thus, if you have a fairly recent phone that does the job for the you just fine, it's somewhat unlikely that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will be the second coming of the priest. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.